use app limits on iPhone. App limits on iPhone are meant to help people make more mindful choices about the amount of time they're spending in their app, to give themselves a limit, give themselves a notification when we've spent too much time in that. In some cases, actually lock people out. This is especially used on kid iPhones, but it can also be used by you to help you make more mindful choices about the apps you spend time on. To set up app limits, we go into the settings app, down to screen time, and right here in the middle is app limits. So assuming that there is an app that you want to spend a limited amount of time in each day, we would set up an app limit. These are going to reset at midnight. Add a limit. And let's say you wanted to limit all social apps. You click social. You can see which ones those include. And then you go to next and you say, how long do I want to spend in these different social apps every day? I could say 15 minutes every day. I could customize days and give myself, I don't know, four hours on Saturday. Why not? Then I hit add but I can also do it for just specific apps. Let's say I only want to give myself a limit on Pokemon Go and it's, I don't know, 30 minutes. Now I've got two app limits for Pokemon Go and then for all social apps. Another type of thing you can get an app limit on is websites. You can add websites that you would like to spend less time in. And if you have the setting on for screen time, share across devices, it will pull that time across the different devices. So as long as that button's clicked, it's going to let me know how long did I spend on that particular app on my computer and on my phone and on my iPad, or how long did I spend on that website? When you have hit your app limit, it's going to dim the icon. The idea is it should draw your eye to it a little bit less, but if it's different, it might also draw your eye to it more. Here's what it looks like when I've hit my limit on Pokemon Go. I can hit OK and it will just exit out of the app or I can say ignore limit. And when I tap on that, it will allow me to ignore it for 15 minutes or today. There are sometimes settings that allow for one minute or for an hour. If you ignore the limit for today, you're obviously making the choice that I don't want to get this notification again. If you hit it for 15 minutes, it will give you 15 more minutes, 15 minutes by the clock, not 15 more minutes of using the app. And then this screen will come up again. Many of the people who have tried to use app limits have mostly accidentally built the habit of hitting 15 more minutes and 15 more minutes and 15 more minutes over and over again. If your goal is to not use the app, this is not ideal. If your goal is to just be aware of the time passing every 15 minutes, maybe that's helpful. But regardless, once we've started hitting that button a lot, it becomes a pretty strong habit. If that's happened to you and you still want to use app limits, there are a few more high level precautions we can add in. Under screen time, you can scroll down and see lock screen time settings. If you do this, it will prompt you to create a passcode. If it's a passcode that you know, it's really just adding one extra level of barrier to continuing on. But again, if you're the kind of person who very easily forms muscle memory habits, like many of the people that I work with, you may just find yourself setting the habit of entering the code over and over again. The level above that is to have someone else in your household know the passcode, but you don't know the passcode. So you would have to bring it to them in order to reset it. This could cause some strain in your relationship, but it is one additional option. I've also heard of people putting in numbers they wanted to learn, like I wanted to memorize Advogadro's number, so they put it in so they would learn it. That is one option. <laughs> the key is to be aware. If you find that you have broken through all of these options and you have no more, and it's not helping you hit your goal, I would recommend turning off app limits for a period of time to sort of reset your habits. With app limits, you can control at least your awareness of how long you've been spending in an app. And when it comes to kids, they usually need to ask their parents' phones for permission in order to keep using them. Most of these examples were for adults using it for themselves. In the case of a child having it set up by a parent, they will need their parents' permission to get more access to more screen time. That's app limits for iPhone. If you're interested in more on screen time, keep an eye out for my other video for general screen time. Do you use app limits? Have you found them helpful or are they just annoying? Let me know in the comments. idea why it's not doing that.